Hey everybody, Todd Getz here from ToddandLeahRay.com and if you want to learn about Facebook Messenger bots then you have come to the exact right place because in this video I'm going to break down exactly what Facebook Messenger bots are and how you can use them in your business. So if you're on Facebook or if you're marketing a business online you've probably actually already seen these around. Okay, You've probably actually already interacted with a few of them even though you may not have even realized that you're interacting with a Messenger bot. But messenger bots represent just an incredible opportunity for marketers to get hyper responsive prospects and customers and can actually help you to provide better customer service as well, which is always a good thing. So hang on and I'll show you exactly how Facebook messenger bots work and how you can put them to use in your business. So stay tuned. All right, let's talk about Facebook Messenger bots. Now, before we actually get into this and I start sharing my screen uh, and, and we get into this tutorial, wanted to let you know about a full online class that you can attend uh, with our friend Mark Harbert, who's actually one of the best Facebook Messenger bot trainers out there right now. Uh, you can attend one of his webinars by clicking the link in the description of this video. Mark is actually one of the guys that taught us to do some really cool things with this. And uh, if you attend this webinar, you can kind of see what he's up to and really get some good ideas as to exactly how to implement this in your business. So click the link in the description of this video to get registered for that. Now, most of us think about Facebook Messenger as like some sort of platform or an app where you can chat or direct message back and forth with the people on your Facebook friends list, right? But you can also do things like send pictures and you can send other types of files like videos and Word documents and PDFs and all sorts of stuff, right? Whatever. You can also use Facebook Messenger to send money now, right? And you can actually make payments and, and buy stuff with Facebook Messenger. Now for business owners, Facebook Messenger can also be used to automate customer service on your Facebook business page, okay, on Facebook, as well as automate the customer service on your website off of Facebook. And, and that's one of the neat things that a lot of people don't know about. It can also be used to build a list of subscribers that you can send messages and promotions to, which is really exciting, okay, because it's just like email marketing, which allows you to do two very important things. Okay. Number one is that it allows you to directly market to the people who are interested in your business but haven't yet become customers. Okay. It allows you to do that without having to pay for ads. So once somebody opts in and subscribes to your Facebook Messenger bot, you can actually mass message all of those people. Okay. Mass message all of your subscribers to tell them about your latest promotion or your specials or your sales or uh, to give them more information about your products or service. Okay. The second thing that it does it is, is that it allows you to turn customers into repeat customers. Okay. And again, you can do that without having to pay for, uh, for an ad to reach those people again. And this is extremely important because the probability of getting an existing customer, right? So someone who has already bought from you before, the probability of getting an existing customer to buy from you again is about 60 to 70%. Whereas if you're going after brand new customers, right? If you're trying to get someone to buy something from you for the very first time, the probability of making a sale is somewhere between five and 20%. Okay. And that is why list building is so incredibly important for a long-term successful business because all of the cost, okay, or, or the majority of the cost in acquiring a customer is in that initial acquisition. Okay. That's the most expensive part of the whole sales process. It costs about 14 times more money to get a new customer than it is to sell to an existing customer. But that's the part of the, of the business that most people are focused on is, is getting new customers in the door. And that's why so many businesses are struggling to make a profit because they're, they're focused on the most expensive thing that they can do. Meanwhile, businesses that are actually making a profit, they're the ones who are focusing most of their attention on selling to their existing customers, right? On getting their existing customers to spend more money. That's really the key to lowering your costs and, and increasing your profits. And that's why list building, okay, not just email list building, but also Facebook Messenger list building is so important to the success of your business. So now let's actually just jump into my computer here. I'm gonna share my screen with you and show you exactly how this looks from the customer's perspective. So you can see exactly what the process is that they go through to get onto your Messenger bot list, okay? And then I'm gonna show you the back end, okay? Everything that, that we use to set this up 
to automate our customer service and get people to subscribe to your messenger bot list so that you can actually start building this and making it work for your business. All right, so here we are on our Facebook business page and let me show you a few ways that people can actually interact with your Facebook Messenger bot. So right away over here on the right hand side you see this thing that says send message. Well when you click on this it'll pop this little thing up and when I start when I click this get started button uh, this is actually our Messenger bot that I'm actually going to uh, start, converse, uh, start a conversation with. So if I just type in a question here. This is what's going to pop up. We actually have an automated message that will go out anytime somebody asks a question. So uh, we just say, hey, thanks for your message. We get a lot of questions here. If you want the quickest response, just email us. Or if, uh, if you really want to chat here on Facebook, you can click the talk to a human button and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, so when they click this button, uh, that is when they can just type in their question again and that will notify us on the back end that we have something that we need to respond to. Okay, so that's one way that you can utilize this. And there's all sorts of different ways that you can utilize this. Y you could have like a bunch of different questions or a bunch of subjects that they may want information on that you can have them click different buttons to get different information. This is just fully customizable to however you want it to operate. But for us, since we do get so many messages here, we find that this works really well because we do have people monitoring our email. But since we do have so many messages going back and forth through our Facebook Messenger on our business page, we don't really use it to uh, manage customer support stuff. Now, one of the other ways that you can put this to work is with just your normal, regular Facebook posts. You can actually set up your Facebook Messenger bot to respond to people who are commenting on your posts, which is really cool. And what that means is that you can take a normal post like this, okay, and you can actually use it to generate leads and get sales and registrants and whatever else, right? So the cool thing about this is that we don't have to put a link in the description, okay? If, if you saw our video on Facebook engagement, you'll remember that putting a link in the description actually severely penalizes you in the Facebook algorithm and you get a lot less organic reach. So when we use our Facebook Messenger bot to respond to comments, we don't actually need to have the, the link in the description here. We can just say in the video, you know, if you want to uh, to get the link to register for our webinar, just comment below with the word Instagram or IG. Okay, that's that's those are the two words that we're uh, that we've programmed our bot to look for. And so there you go, Instagram or IG in the comments. And you can see we've gotten 334 responses to this. Most of these are people asking for the link to the webinar. Now the other neat thing about this is that it also encourages engagement with your post, right? It, it encourages people to comment on your post. So what that does, if you remember, again, if you remember back to our video on Facebook engagement, that will boost your post in Facebook's algorithm. So it'll actually show it to more people when they start commenting. And so it's kind of like, a, you know, killing two birds with one stone. Not only do you not get penalized for having a link, but you also get boosted in the algorithm because people are commenting on your post now in order to get the link for the webinar or whatever it is that you're promoting. So just to show you exactly what this looks like, okay, you can see one of the, uh, one of the people that responded. We said, hey, looks like you want some information on our upcoming Instagram webinar. Uh, just type the word yes so we know that it's okay to send you information through messenger okay and basically what we're doing here is we're just confirming that it's okay uh, that we subscribe them to our facebook messenger bot list okay so he types yes we say cool click the button below to go to the registration page if you ever want to stop getting messages from us just type the word stop okay so we give them an option to unsubscribe and so they click this button and it takes them to the registration page. So that's how that works. And we get a ton of subscribers with this. As you can see, that one post uh, had 334 uh, responses to it. So that's actually three things that it, that it does for you. Number one is it doesn't penalize you for having a link, okay, because you don't need a link in the description anymore. Number two, it boosts your post in the algorithm because people are now commenting on it. And then number three, it also gets subscribers to your Facebook Messenger bot list. Now, another way that we use this to generate leads and get sales is by having an opt-in 
after they opt into something else. And so let me show you what, what we mean by that. So this is a registration page for a five day Facebook marketing workshop that we, uh, that we promote. So once they opt in, they get taken to a page uh, like this where it says, hey, congratulations, you're in. Uh, in order to start getting the training, click the send to messenger button in order to get started. Okay, and so basically we, we send them the videos for the training through Facebook Messenger. So again, not only are they subscribing to our email list, but now they're also subscribing to our Facebook Messenger list. And so they click this link right here. Next thing it'll do is it'll say, okay, make sure that this is your account, okay? Because sometimes there's multiple people or you have multiple Facebook accounts or whatever. So it says continue as, you know, whoever you are. So all they gotta do is click this button and then it takes them here where our messenger bot takes over and it starts sending them the messages that we have programmed in there in order for them to get started with the training. And again, you can set this up to do whatever you want. If you want it to deliver coupon codes or uh, other promotions to people, whatever it is that they ask for, you can do it here. And then they're also subscribed to your messenger bot so you can continue to market other things to them while they're getting this. So those are just a few of the ways that, that you can use your Facebook Messenger bot. And there's obviously a bunch of other ways that you can use this as well, not, not just here on Facebook, but also on other websites. But now let's take a look at the back end and see kind of how that all works to, to set this up. So in order to make this work for Facebook, you actually need to subscribe to a third party service. Okay, and there's a few of them out there. The one that we use and that we recommend is called ManyChat, M-A-N-Y-C-H-A-T. And you can actually get started with this for free. Uh, once you do get over a certain number of subscribers, I think you do need to start paying for it. But uh, just to sign up for this and check it out is, is absolutely free. But you can see here, we've got uh, quite a few subscribers. Uh, almost 13,000 people have subscribed to this so far. Over here on the left-hand side, uh, not only do we have our growth tools, our growth tools are like our opt-in tools, right? Different ways for people to interact or or opt into your Facebook Messenger chat. So if I go here, you can see I've already got a bunch of these set up. And if I if I try to create a new one, you see all of the different options that we have here. But here's one that's a floating bar that just comes down from the top of your website. Okay, so for example, if you have a blog or something, you can program this so that it always shows up on the top of your blog. You have one that actually slides in on the bottom right hand corner on top of your web page. Here's one that uh, just kind of pops up, right? It's, it's like a pop-up opt-in on your website. And this one is just a full page takeover. So you don't even see anything else on the page except for this opt-in. You have ones that will just operate as a button on your page. So they just click a button and that will opt them into your messenger bot. You have another one where you can actually have like a little widget box, right? Just a, a little box on your website somewhere. Maybe you have a blog article or a sidebar or somewhere else where you just want one little section where it, where it allows them to opt into your Facebook Messenger bot. And then you've got some other ones here, like you can have a, a full landing page designed through this tool as well. You can do other things like Facebook comments, which is what I showed you before with that video. Uh, you can create Facebook ads with this. And there's a couple other ones, uh, for example, like a checkbox where they can, as they are opting into something else, they can check a box to also opt into your Facebook Messenger bot. Okay, there's, there's all sorts of different ways to do that. So a bunch of different ways for people to get in. And then after they're in, okay, that's what our growth tools are, is our opt-in options. Then we can also have automations. And what automations are, are like our follow-up sequences. So this is where we can program in, for example, like our five-day Facebook marketing workshop, where we have five days of lessons that get sent. And so this is something where every day for five days, we have different messages that get sent out to people. Okay, so, so you can set that up to go out on full automation. You can do other things uh, like, you know, reminders for webinars, which is what we have here, a webinar that uh, people have 24 hours to watch. And so we have reminders that go out throughout the day to remind them that, hey, you've only got, you know, three hours left to watch this, right? And so we've set those up, you know, at like 12 hours and six hours and, and two hours or something like that. So they get like three reminders to make sure that they watch the webinar. In addition to that, we also have our keywords. Keywords are things that people can type in when they when they click that send message button. If they type in a specific word, 
that will trigger a specific response. Okay, so for example, if people say stop or unsubscribe, that will unsubscribe them from our messenger bot. Uh, if they say thank you or thanks or cheers, right, it'll actually, uh, we have this set up where it'll give them a, a, a thumbs up just like this. It'll say, hey, anytime, and a little smiley face and a thumbs up, right? So when, whenever somebody says thanks, you know, that's the message that they get. Uh, if they just give us a thumbs up, we actually don't want it to reply with anything. So we've set this up so that when they give us a thumbs up, it doesn't do anything. Okay, and, and we have some others here that we've actually blurred out because uh, they're like secret. They're, they're, they're ways for people to get special uh, uh, special resources from us when they when they type in specific words so we don't want everybody to get that so we've kind of blurred those out but uh, that's another neat thing that you can do now in addition to those triggered responses where people type in a specific word to get a specific response we also have our broadcasting options where we can message all the people on our on our subscribe list or we can actually uh, segment these people and only message a portion of them for, for different information. So for example, uh, this one, uh, this one right here is where we message our entire list, right? At the time it was like 13,000 people. And we just let them know about a, uh, a video that we had created about how to deal with getting put in Facebook jail and, uh, and, and getting uh, suspended by Facebook. Right? Because a lot of marketers tend to have that problem. So we created a video about it. So we gave them the option to watch that. Plus, we also gave them the option to, to say, hey, I want, uh, I want to see more of this type of video. And so you can see actually 6% of people said, yeah, actually, yeah, give me more of these videos. And uh, we had another 4% that said, nah, you know, I, I'm, I'm okay with just receiving videos once a week. Okay, so that's kind of another thing that we do with this. Uh, but this is one way for us to get content out to our list. And obviously in these videos, you know, sometimes we'll be promoting other things. So for, for example, at the end of this one, we actually promote that Facebook marketing, uh, that five day Facebook marketing workshop. Uh, so, so that's another way for us to get people into that. Now, in addition to doing broadcasts to our entire list, right, we can also send messages to just specific portions of our list. For example, like if I wanted to send a message just to the people who requested information about our Instagram webinar, I can do that. If I want to send messages just to people who requested a specific download, I can do that. If I wanted to send messages specifically to people who opted into a specific webinar, I could do that. There's all sorts of ways that I can segment my list and send specific messages to different people depending on what they had opted into, what tags I applied to them, what sequence they're subscribed to, and, and all sorts of different ways to do that. So it's, it's super powerful. Now the cool thing about this versus email marketing is that Right here, you can see our open rates. Okay, and this is why Facebook Messenger marketing is so incredibly powerful is because the open rates are just sky high, right? If for any of you who have done email marketing and you have an email list and you've been, and you've been mailing them for any length of time, you know that your typical opt-in rates are around 22%. Across all industries, the average open rate is about 22%. And the click-through rate, the amount of clicks you get on the links in your webinars are typically, you know, sometimes less than 1%, maybe tops around 2%, okay, sometimes maybe 3%. And you can see on some of these, we're getting 10%, 15% and higher, like the, the lowest that we're getting is about 2% click-through rate. So uh, not only do you get more opens, but you also get a lot more clicks uh, to for people to see your videos, to see your, your marketing, to, to check out your offers to do whatever. And so that's, that's really where the power of this comes in and why it's such an important part of your marketing that you want to add to your business. Now, if this is something that you want more information on, more in-depth training on exactly how this works and different ways to implement this in your business, there's a special webinar coming up with our good friend Mark Harbert that I kind of mentioned before, but if you click the link in the description of this video, it'll take you to a page where you can register for that training. And like I said, Mark is just one of the best in the industry when it comes to Facebook Messenger marketing. So be sure to check out that webinar. You're going to get some really great ideas and exactly how to put this to use in your business. So click the link and get registered for that. Once again, my name is Todd Getz. Thank you everybody so much for checking this out. I hope you got some great value out of this. If you did, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel so you get notifications whenever we come up with new videos here on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time.